Hi guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. If you don't know me, my name is Lauren and I love creating fashion and travel and just lifestyle videos for you. So, and I'm really excited by this week's video. If you didn't know, it was my birthday on the 1st of May and yesterday uh, for the 7th of May, it was my sister's birthday and we went shopping at Chadston at the fashion capital of like Australia, I think it is. Or like in Melbourne, it's a really big shopping centre with luxury and high-end items as well as all in between. And so shopping yesterday, I got a whole lot of things from Zara, Uniqlo, uh, Nars and Mecca, and oh, what did I get something else wrong? I think that's it. Yeah, all those things. And I just thought this video would be great to have a little haul of those. Oh, and I got one last thing. That's what it was. I got one last thing that was from Whitner, but that was like specifically for my birthday. Everything else I bought on my own as like for my birthday, but that's that's the last thing that I'll show you in this video. So I'm really excited. And yeah, I thought this would be just a great little fun haul. I haven't really done a fashion video in a little bit, so I'm excited to get the, the ball rolling more on those ones. My going into buying these items, I'm really trying to cultivate and not fix but like edit my own wardrobe and ensure that it is, has really great staple pieces I'm really looking at that neutral obviously neutrals really in and it's in for a reason neutral goes with everything it is natural colors and it's really great I really love it because I find that I actually wear more of my neutral like brown tones beiges whites even blacks and grays greens a couple blues that uh, those earthy tones that go, I think go with everything and are, again, can be really really timeless I find that where I have items that are brightly colored and really fun that I love I don't wear them nearly as much and their cost per wear just does not add up and they end up sitting in my cupboard for years I have things in my cupboard that have are years old that I've still had since I was a teenager and you know all those ones that you go yeah I'll wear this again like I'll absolutely wear this again you don't. But this video, I'm excited because the first item I'm going to show you is one of those just staple pieces that I think everyone should have for just everyday day looks to corporate wear uh, at workplace. So really great. So my first one, excuse the really battered bag because there were so many bags from yesterday. It just got so bad. It's from Zara. I'm going to pull it out and show you and then put it away again because my camera is just going to be really grumpy with me because it's blue and it's going to be like oh my god and change all the colors so I, I'm pretty sure I've I did a test on my camera before and it, when I moved the piece of clothing it just kept changing color so I will show you the first piece that is up da, 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 da. see it's blue it is a oversized blue shirt and we're going to change colors so that you can really see how blue it is it is a size small from Zara I think it was about $60 yeah you can already see how yellow I am because of how blue this is in the camera but it's okay I really fell in love with it it is such a great staple wardrobe piece see on the back to front da, 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 da. I'll do a little styling of it cutaway for you and now I'm gonna put it down and we go back to a normal color. <laughs> so this is my chosen look for the oversized blue sh uh, Zara shirt. I've got it with a white H&M tight single top. I've got it with some old country road white jeans that are very much too big and definitely need to be tailored again. They, they're a size eight, but they, I think just going through the wash, they totally just grew, just stretched. So anyway, I've got it paired with my Trenary brown sandals. Love for the sandals, we love them. Love them. I've got it paired with my Ralph Lauren jumper, just draped over the back, quite, quite easy. I've got it with a gold chain necklace. I will link it in the bio because I can't remember where it's from. I've paired it with this Marc Jacobs little like brown and tonal bag with a big strap. As you know from my bag collection video, this is not in my collection. However, it, it is my sister's and that's why I've just borrowed it for this, just for this look. However, it is the kind of bag that I would pair it with because I've got obviously warm hair. I wanted to pair it something that went with that and went tonally with the outfit. And that's why I chose this. 
ta da 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 William just gives it that lovely little pop and whoop I'm gonna fall over and I do not I my pants at all but that's fine and I feel very excuse my little hand there very like going to the tennis like going to the tennis club I am the soccer mom but I love it I love this look we could just wear this to brunch going out with the girls or to a market oh with a little basket instead a basket bag I'd love that from Loewy that's on my list anyway that is my look for the oversized shirt let's go on to the next one I love shirts I love a shirt just at home just for walking around doing the gardening and everything and then you can really style it up for any any weather even like you can wear an oversized shirt to the beach with just over top of your bikini and protect your shoulders you can style up a shirt for the corporate wear for a great job interview you can make it a great summer on vacation in Barbados no. um, I'm so excited about a blue shirt you can make a blue shirt go with anything winter, summer, spring. That's why I think a blue shirt is a really, really great staple. And I have a couple of blue shirts, but I found a lot of my blue shirts are very thin. I have a blue shirt from H&M that I'm going to show you in a second that I thought was a great oversized just blue staple, but it ripped because it was so thin. This one is a lot thicker. And, you know, I, I'm not going to say that Zara is better quality than H&M. I think they're both, like, somewhat on the same level. But still, they're, you know, it, it, obviously it could be a lot better quality. But I think still think Zara and H&M are a great choice for, especially at the moment, I think they have so many great choices for staple wardrobe pieces. Same with Uniqlo. They all have really great, easy, like, white shirts, all these types of stuff. So that's why I fell in love with this one and it was really affordable. Choo going with the blue shirt, I think blue is really easy. I think blue goes with my skin tone. I really like to go towards those natural colors, not only because I'm going towards that, but also because of my hair. Like I said, I've tried things that are bright red and I did not enjoy, <laughs> I did not enjoy all they just sit in my cupboard and it didn't go great. So that's why I chose the blue. So I'm gonna style that up for you. But before I do, I'll compare it to the H&M shirt that I bought. Here it is. And we're going to change color again in the video, but that's okay. <laughs> um, it, you can see how, honestly, how much thinner it is. When I go behind it, I can I can see straight through it. You probably can't see straight through it, but that's fine. And so when we're going to change color again, I compare it. This is a lot, the, the Zara one is a lot deeper in color. A different fabric, obviously. This is Uniqlo. I thought it was H&M. Oh my God, it's Uniqlo. Wow, this is great. But anyway, because it's ripped, I'll show you the rip quickly. Just in the sleeve there. Ooh. There, yeah. Wow, that's really annoying. Giving you all the facts, guys. That's Uniqlo. But it's a great oversized shirt. I do a bit of painting, obviously gardening, if you've seen my gardening uh, video, turning my greenhouse into a, uh, turning my dog old dog house into a greenhouse that hasn't had any development yet but as soon as it does you'll know um so that will just change over but especially for workplace i wanted something a bit darker a bit thicker i didn't really want to be showing through it in the workplace and i really fell in love with that so yeah it's all about cultivating that really really chic look that really like put together look effortly effortless, effortlessly put together and i really that i really really love and you know moving forward uh, uh there are obviously more shirts that i want to collect so that was the first one Mo so that was the first one put that back in the bag moving on to the next piece is a bodysuit that i got in a dark green you see that color Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's upside down. It's cute. That's so nice. You can see how almost foresty green that is. And going in tune with my neutrals, I want to go, yep, those really natural colors. And can you not get more natural than green? Grass. Grass and trees. But yeah, this is a size small in, it came in $29.95. I do want one of these in white. 
So that is another thing that I want to go back and get, but I don't think they had my size in and I wanted to trial this out. Layering is a big thing for me and I really need, want to start incorporating it more into my outfits. Starting on an easy base like this, I keep cutting off my face. Starting for an easy base like this, it actually buttons down at the bottom there enables me to bring to life my outfits you know there's there's a difference between just a pants and a top there's a pants and a bodysuit and then a light shirt and a coat and really elevate how you look and elevate your style i've got the green bodysuit on and like i told you you could totally lay this up to be a great nighttime outfit here underneath i've got the suit on as you can see excuse the nips it obviously does not go very well with the bra so what I will be doing you know your sports bras how they quite often come with those in like little slips that you can put in like and have to adjust so that they cover your nips what I'm gonna do is take those out because this bodysuit comes with a layer like underneath and so I'll slip it on under there so I've made this really tonal I've gone full green with the dark bodysuit I've got this great H&M coat in green and then I've also got an old H&M scarf in the green. I paired it with some great leather pants. I've got my Whitner little black shiny shoes and then I've got my Oriton little black bag with the gold details and to match those gold details I've just got my Ana Luisa little diamante earrings on under there. So this is really great. I feel like I can go on a night out like this and then I can take my coat off and be really chic and lovely. So I might actually show you with the coat off. Here it is with the coat off. Really nice. Oh, there's my coat over there. <laughs> and then yeah, with the curled hair and the black just really brings it to, the black leather really brings it together and gives it that pop. It's not all completely matted like this suit and then that really like brings that shine to it with the bag that's obviously scrunched in that I've shown you and my shiny shoes. So I really, I'm in love with this. I definitely want one in white, but this really makes the, like the deep green really like makes it like almost seductive. I feel very like chic and this would totally go from, go to like drinks with the girls, night out on like to a really nice restaurant and really love it. But yeah, layering. Layering is everything. Honestly, I think you can layer enough. Like this is, you can wear this in winter and layer it enough and you can wear it in summer and lay it, layer it down. If you layer enough like summer pieces with winter pieces, you can make them into winter pieces. Like you can make a t-shirt into a winter piece, I believe. And I love a good t-shirt, so. So that is our green forest jumpsuit from Zara. Love it. Next thing on my list to get was definitely something more wintry. Uh, I have a whole list on my iPhone at the moment of uh, staple wardrobe things that I want to collect. And they could be as simple as a white, sh a really thick white shirt. Obviously I've got my Ralph Lauren, but I do want an oversized white shirt like my Zara one. And as I find things online or see items like in Zara, I'll grab the link and pop it next to it as the item that I could really look at. And that's what I did with my next piece from Uniqlo. My little bag from Uniqlo here was for me Uniqlo I think is really great for really basic staples they so blah, they sell so many great easy things for layering so many great different variations of the same thing like sweaters for instance when I went in there yesterday I was looking for a certain type of sweater there was turtlenecks there was v-necks there was the um, crew necks there was so many different types of the same thing that you could get exactly what you want in different colors in saying that I didn't get exactly what I want, what I wanted. I wanted a black turtleneck, like skivvy, like light jumper that I could layer and style up for, for work, but also turn into like a nighttime outfit with some, like a black one with some like nice leather pants and some easy like ankle leather boots and style it with a nice bag. However, they didn't have what I wanted in black. They did, however, have it in a navy blue, which I'll show you. There goes the receipt. See, we have it just here in the navy blue. It almost looks black, but you can, can see just there that it's blue. I've still got all the tags on it and everything. 
I will link everything in the comments below. It is and what I love about this so much and what I really wanted to be a focal point of my pieces going forward is this is made out of merino wool. So merino wool, cashmere wool going forward is something that I really am trying to put a point on. If I buy items fast because I need them right now rather than or like want them right now rather than search properly and find maybe something that's a little more expensive but better quality, it'll last me so much longer. That's what I'm really focusing on in my wardrobe at the moment. So here is our blue navy turtleneck merino wool machine washable. So here is the navy blue skinny turtleneck from Uniqlo. I've got it tucked into some nude work like ankle length pants with some nude heels and then I've also got it paired with my Oriton scrunch bag to give it that little bit of texture that I can't get just from these plain outfits. I adore this, absolutely love it. It's so good for winter and I'll be able to layer this up with a really thick coat. I have got a black beige coat that I could pair this with as well so I might show you However, I do think it might be a bit too similar in color to this, so we shall see. But I love this. It feels so warm. I've just got it again with my Ana Luisa. This really light jewelry it keeps it breezy. I'd love to wear this to work with another brown bag. I feel so good. Yeah, ass. I've been going to the gym. Let's try it with the coat. So this is it with my H&M from Copenhagen trench coat. I quite like it. I quite like that in terms of the la, 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 in terms of the turtleneck, it gives it that lift up to me and I'm not all within that one line. As you can see this coat only goes up to here. It's not a big heavy thing at the top. So this really brings it together and actually connects my head to my body in a way. So that's that. It is very close in colour to my pants, so if from behind I almost feel a little bit lost, but I do quite like it. I think that the bag, if if obviously if the bag had navy tones rather than the black, I'd like it even more. However, the navy really makes this outfit pop. I would like to do it with a lighter toned camel coat or even just the light trench coat. I think this would be really, yeah, really great for work and also really great for that transition from winter to spring where you're taking those winter winter like products winter clothing and still using it across the different seasons this coat makes it really light and breezy the pants make it feel tailored uh, it came at 49.90 it's exactly what i wanted and i'm totally going to be styling this up for work i did then get this in another color which is beige again is it cold beige? Yeah, it is cold beige, I'm right. And that is the same thing. So here is the turtleneck in the beige, which I have paired with my coach little crossbody bag, put it across there. I've got it with my tailored black pants and just some slip-on black shoes with the gold detailing, matching the gold detailing in my bag and obviously my little animals. Yeah, I'm sticking with these throughout the video. It's very nice. But same as with the, obviously the exact same product as the navy. Oh, I should probably say I've draped over just a blazer in black just to tie that blackness and give this that pop. I really do love this again. It is such a great winter wear. This is perfect for corporate, perfect even for a job interview. It keeps that really tonal focus on yourself and doesn't take away from you. If you, I don't really love something loud during an interview especially. The only thing that I will mention about going a lighter colour and having in both pieces is obviously the navy doesn't show as much shadow. It's a lot darker. So in this, you can definitely see the seam of the turtleneck a lot easier in the beige rather than the navy. That is something to consider if you don't mind. I don't really care for it. I could turn this right up and have it right up ruffled right under my neck or I could have it further down. My, red head's a bit, my neck's a bit red. That's okay. I do really love this and I love how warm it makes me feel. I got them both in a size small. I didn't want this one too tight. It is obviously a tighter fitting item, 
but I didn't want it like suddenly I was like and you could see every crevice of my body I wanted it a little bit loose so that when I'm tucking it into pants it's still movable and malleable malleable? is that the right word? But I don't know anyway yeah, so that is my two new things and especially Melbourne going into winter and ha me having and traveling having blah, 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 having to travel all the, to the city for work it gets cold in Melbourne it is already raining outside I don't know if you can hear it was absolutely bucketing just before so these are two items I will hopefully uh, buy the black one online and see how that goes but I'm excited. I think navy and beige obviously still go in line with those blue and those neutral tones that I can wear all the time and layer up. I think especially in navy I'm quite excited to layer up with a black coat and layer up with different tones of really dark blacks and really dark blacks. Really dark, like, like navies and blacks and those darker tones. I think that could look really great. And I'm excited! Alrighty, that is the four pieces of clothing that I bought. So I'm going to take you through the Mecca items that I bought from Mecca before I take you to my last piece that I'm so excited about. Now this is my Mecca bag. I haven't opened it since I bought it at the store and I'm also very excited because I got my Mecca beauty loot look, look box the same day. So I need to just take a breath. I'm talking very fast and my back kind of hurts from sitting on my bed at the angle I'm on. I, I've taken you guys through my makeup and my skincare routine before. However, as I, I'm not a makeup, I'm not like a, I'm not a makeup artist and I'm not a skincare professional. And so I'm just learning as much as you are and just telling you what I've learned and I'm just taking you along my journey. I would love to be able to one day literally go and sit down with a like dermatologist and fully go through my skincare routine and really tailor it from a very professional point of view. Whilst everything that I'm doing is currently working, which I'm happy with, there's always room for improvement. And that was what, one of the things I was going into purchase. My, a big insecurity for me at the moment is my under eye area. I work a lot on, um, you know, I look at screens all the time. I'm obviously editing videos. And so the bags under my eyes, if you would have seen it in, like my scuba diving video, as I watched that back, I was like, ooh, <laughs> who she, she's tired. Um, so, and my concealers that I have, I have a rose ink concealer and I have another ink concealer. However, I've never been properly matched that I liked. So that's what I went in. At first I was thinking I should get a color corrector, like one of those orange ones, and then go over the top with a concealer. And she was like, no, just go for, da 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 these little NARS concealing pods. These have been really raved about. I got in the color Light 2.6. I'll just show you there. I don't know if it's gonna focus. Light 2.6, but you get it. Light 2.6. The makeup artist, I did decided not to wear any makeup to shopping yesterday because I knew I was gonna go in and try this and I wanted the absolute best concealer work to be done and to look at so I was like no makeup I'm not gonna film today at all it's fine and so when I went in there and asked them about it she put on this color on my eye if you can see that um, and it was really great I was really surprised how well it did and then she was just talking to me more and I was like yeah I really struggled with really dye eye dye eyes dry eyes and I really want to I'm like you know she's I have my, these bags under my eyes that you can see. And she's like, what eye cream do you use? I was like, oh, I just use like a moisturizer. And you've seen from my skincare routine that I just use the Neutrogena Hydro Gel. And she's like, honey, no, <laughs> don't like use the moisturizer, but you're missing, there's like, you're missing out on an eye cream that I think you might really like. And so that's where she applied this Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. There, if you can see that. She just, she took this and she's like, I just wanna try it. And she took it. So we've got the, we had the NARS concealer under one eye and then she put the eye cream under the other and then the NARS on top and let me have a look. I was like, oh my God, 
One, this has made my under eye bag so much better. Obviously, I don't think any concealer is going to get rid of everything unless I got professional like my like light Botox done to like fill in. However, when, when she did the eye cream underneath and really pressed it in, she was telling me how much you need to press in your skincare, which I didn't know. I just been putting on my moisturizer, rubbing it in a little bit and then thinking that it needed to settle in itself. No, so she spent time like really massaging this in and then she spent time massaging the NARS over top of that. And it was unbelievable. My creases went down so much. My like dryness that normally my concealers really grab onto wasn't there. And I was like, oh my God. And we were just talking to each other and she was so lovely that she was like, I'm so excited. And I was like, I'm so excited. I'm buying this straight away. And I know some of you may think that this is like really expensive and it's really small just for an eye cream. And a lot of people say that eye creams don't work, but I was standing there going, I don't care what anyone says, I'm buying this. It is too, like, oh my God. I will, maybe one day I'll look at buying a cheaper one because I've heard that there's a good dupe by CeraVe or CeraVe, but I was like, I'm so excited. So that is what I bought from Mecca is the, obviously the, there you go, the avocado. And I just need something really focused for these under eyes and using a normal moisturizer wasn't getting to this thinner layer. It, so it's the avocado and it's got shea butter. I'm pretty sure I've, I read that it had shea butter in it really moisturizing things absolutely great so i'm so excited i'm not i'm obviously not wearing it yet i wanted to save it for my next video to try on and then obviously try it on when i've got bernie doing my makeup she's confirmed in a few weeks so i'll take you through that but that's something i'm so excited about now i thought that i would save the mecca beauty loop box to do with you because I haven't had a look at what I've, what I've got. I was, because it was my birthday, meant to get a Mecca birthday gift. However, they had run out there. So there's something else I want to get from Mecca. So they said, just call in a week and see if they've got more in stock and come back in. So I was like, cool, I'll do that. I'll, any, any, another chance to go uh, shopping? Yeah. So what did we get? Ooh. <gasps> oh, you're joking. Oh my God. That just fell out. So I've got a Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Nicomide Dew Drops. I have recently heard about Nicomide. I was watching some videos that Nicomide's really, really great. I had known nothing about it. So my hair is whoa, everywhere, man, everywhere. So I'm excited to try that. And I'll also hear that Glow Recipe is really good. What else have we got? We've got a Kylie Skin Nicomide and Zinc Clarifying Serum. Da -da. It's got a little bottle inside. Clarifying serum. And then it's all in the different things. So is Nicomide the theme of this box? I don't know. But that's another thing. My sisters really love Kylie uh, cosmetics. So I have actually a Kylie, um, what's it called? A Kylie like lip kit. So that was kind of, I don't love it. It quite, it just goes everywhere like it's doesn't like it's not very very drying and I just found it went everywhere but I'm excited to try more Nicomide products we got a uh, better than sex mascara volume I used to use this mascara all the time it is exciting to get it I'll show you a bit clearer there however I found that it really ran like whenever I wore it it was great but what's on my oh no <laughs> there's a dot on the camera Oh, that, that'll be fun. That it ran. It is exciting to really get it. And maybe I'll use it if I go traveling. It's like a mini takeaway. But still a great little ad. I think I'm in the Beauty Loop box at yeah, level two. So I get some like big and better products. And is this the last one? Oh, I didn't read it till I just did. Flash patch. Oh, overnight bright. Restoring night eye gels. I'm excited. <laughs> Anything to help my eyes. Oh, it's quite, it's quite thick. Place one pair of gels onto clean, dry under eye area for five minutes. It's got up to use and massage remaining serum. Oh, that's so exciting. That's one pair. 
That's so exciting. That's another thing I want to start incorporating into my skincare routine or even early makeup routine is actual like under eye patches. That's so cool. Woohoo. Alrighty. Now that the makeup's done, now that the clothes are done, it's the most exciting part. Okay. For my birthday, I need to turn around and get these. Ugh. I got Whitner boots. <laughs> oh my god. I got these the other day. Um, this is my one of my major birthday presents. I should hold it up so you can see Whitner. Um, I have been wanting like almost horse riding style boots for such a long time, honestly for years. And as a tall person, I'm five foot ten. I have not got small feet. And I have got long legs. So do you think shoes are, <laughs> shoes are an absolute struggle to find for me? I have found three pairs of shoes in the last like two, three weeks. It's been, that is unheard of for me. So I was so excited to get these. I got these in a size 41, which is around a 10, 11. They did come in a 42, which I tried on yesterday because these were a bit tighter. Um, but the 42, if you, everyone has a shoe size, it's really hard with shoes. As they go bigger, they don't just go longer because everyone has different feet. I have quite flat feet that are really long and that's why I need a bigger shoe size. However, when they increase the size, not just like in the line, just like bigger in every aspect, it got way too big in the top of the shoe. So I was just like, I'm just gonna stick with like being more snug lengthways and having the right amount of room. And it's these, a leather. So rather than me just talking about it and not showing you, let's open the box. <laughs> ooh, 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 everything's gonna fall out. I'm just gonna dump that on the ground. I can't wait to also have like a space that I can show you stuff without having to like hold it like this. <laughs> All right, because I feel like I'm I'm like a school teacher reading a book, and you have to hold the book really weirdly. Oh. In my face! Look at that! Look at the boot. These came to two hundred and. 40 I believe because I think I've got them there was a sale going on I got I think I've got like a coupon look at ah I love this detail let's just take it out of the box look at that ah so they are leather with the clean sole they've got a zip on one side here and they do like a nice front detailing that it like goes up and they've got the stretching in the middle and a little loop on the back nice and tall I wanted to go with the horse riding style as because I'm so tall I, I love wearing a high heel but I wanted a boot that I could wear anywhere not just on a night out that's also a high heel I want to be able to wear this maybe not for walks because they're too nice at the moment maybe one day in the future I can buy some nice boots that are for just for walking but I want to wear these like to markets or out for lunch out for dinner as well maybe not to a club but um, I just thought these would go so well and so nice and be so lovely for winter. I do have a pair of shorter boots, not anklet boots. They're just like, they're just shorter. They probably go to about like there. But I really wanted some tall ones. And, and that's been the major three issues that I've found with being someone tall is finding one, a boot that is good enough for a, a large foot that isn't a heel. Um, my second one is finding one that isn't huge in this department, in this department, in the actual foot area without compromising on length. My other one was the width of the calf. Whilst I would have preferred this calf to be a lot thinner, I am a tall thin person so this one is a, a lot larger and I'll show you that. That maybe one day I will invest in another boot that is the same kind of style but really fits my leg. But I'm not too saddened by this being quite a large... What's it called? Leg of the boot? Yeah. I think so. But yeah, because I can tuck pants into this, I can have pants going over it. Oh, I just love it. And it just feels, it feels so soft. I'll show you like, look at that leather. Oh, oh. So my last outfit with the awesome boots. Here they are in the flesh. La -di -da -di -da. 
I love this little black dress. And with the boots, I just love it. It makes it feel, if anything, that little bit more cash. It does go a bit high and it is quite baggy. And I paired it with the black coach bag as well. It's there. And I love this outfit. With this dress though, I will mention that I would probably have my hair in a high pony like you saw that last time. But the boots just really elevate it. Obviously with the heels, you would get a lot more leg. And with already the high sides that are quite high right now as I'm wearing it and the open back, I kind of like that little bit of tie in, that little bit of elevation, both in the leg and the elevation in the dress that go together. Mm -hmm. So that's them. And that was my last item that I purchased. Well, no, that I got for my birthday. I didn't purchase these. I purchased everything else for my birthday. But thank you for joining. I have really loved this. And I'm so excited to hopefully show you another thing that I'm getting next week um, to go along with my winter neutral wardrobe. So yeah, please like and subscribe. It is meaning so much to me that some of you are enjoying these videos and I hope to continue creating fashion, ooh, fashion content for you. I have a couple of other fun, exciting things coming up and I can't wait to see you soon. Bye.